Getting right to the point, the fastest way to grind out Mimic Skulls is to play Fortune's Keeper Surgeons. If you want to find out why, stick around because I'll be getting into my strategy for this mode as well as Zombies and Horde Point right after a word from our sponsor. <laughs> I don't got a sponsor, idiot. Anyways, after grinding for a few hours today, the fastest method I found was to hop into Resurgent Solos on Fortune's Keep. And the best part about this method is that you don't even have to be good at Warzone. All you gotta do is just open loot chests and you'll get a random drop from the Horde Hunt event almost every time. But this comes with its pros and cons. The main con being that it's completely random what drop you get from the pool of four. Those being Bones, Hellhound Skulls, Armored Zombie Skulls, and Mimic Skulls. If you gotta do the other parts of the event, then this won't be that big of a deal, but if you're like me and you only needed the Mimic Skulls, then some games are gonna be luckier than others. But the huge pro to this is that you get a stack of whatever item that pops out. So for these drops, depending on which one comes out of your chest, you'll get five Hellhound Skulls, five Armored Zombie Skulls, or five five Mimic Skulls. And for the Zombie Bones, you'll get 20 of them. Now, I picked Solo for this mainly because I didn't want to be dead weight for potential random teammates because all I was going to be doing was looting the whole game. But I'm sure the same method would work if you hopped in with a team. Anyways, hopping into Solos each game, I'd start out by going to a spot that I thought would have a good amount of chests or as far away as I could get so I could be far from most of the players while looting. Additionally, I'd pick up a search contract because it'll spawn in a chest with a waypoint over it and I'll loot my way over to it until I finish the contract. You could also pick up the zombie contract. These will spawn a mimic in for you to murder and take its skull, but I don't think it's necessary, just something to speed it up a bit if you want. These loot boxes can also spawn some unique power-ups and kill streaks like a speed boost or a supply UAV to help make looting easier. I tried this method for 7 games and on average I got 11 skulls per game with each game taking around 10 minutes. In my best game I grabbed 25 mimic skulls in 15 minutes, and in my worst game I got none and died within 5 minutes. But overall I think this is the fastest fastest method for grinding out mimic skulls. Also, here's a clip of me almost having a heart attack while grinding this out. Ah! Oh. Now let's get into the zombies method. The best way to find mimics in zombies is to go to infested strongholds. Tier 2 strongholds are the best for this because most of the time they'll have at least two mimics either sitting on top of them or disguised as chests inside of them. Tier 1 strongholds can have mimics in them but they're not very consistent. Tier 3 strongholds are almost guaranteed to have them, but unless you're spawning in with a pack 3 crystal, they'll almost definitely be gone by the time you build your way up to tier 3. Now for this method, you can just go from stronghold to stronghold, killing the mimics and leaving if you want to be a dick. Doing this will get you mimic kills pretty fast, but eventually you'll run out of strongholds to go to and the mimics don't respawn in them. So it's best to clear out all the spores in the stronghold when going for mimic kills because it gives you room for a new stronghold to spawn in that zone. And if you want to be extra efficient, you can grab bounties on your way to the strongholds and take them out if the HVT is a mimic. If it's not, you can just cancel it. As for the basic items you should bring in, grab the Lockwood 680 with this build as your primary. Grab some decoys, throwing knives, and toss on Aether Shroud. If you played zombies a bit and you have some good loot at your disposal, you can really speed up the grind. The Scorcher is perfect for getting around the map faster, but if you don't have the weapon case for it, cars and Aether Rifts do just fine. Brain Rot will help you kill the Mimics faster, being the ammo mod that they're weak to. And if you end up Brain Rotting a Mimic, just make sure you keep your eye on it so it doesn't wander off and you lose your drop. Death Perception is also very useful for clearing out the strongholds quickly by outlining the spores, making them easier to find. And whatever Aether tool, Ethereum crystal, or perks you have will also give you a bit of a head start on the grind. If you want to be extra, you'll get a decent amount of deadbolt turret circuits from strongholds, so you can take those into tier 3 and have those slay some zombies for you. But in practice, it didn't seem very efficient, so I just thought I'd throw it out there in case anybody wanted to try it. Anyways, I played 4 total games of zombies doing this method, and on average, I got around 20 mimic skulls with each game taking around 50 minutes. Obviously, this doesn't sound like the greatest in the average is being held down by a game where I crashed, but either way, this mode is very inconsistent for this event. In my best game, using the Scorcher to get around, I got 33 Mimic Skulls playing all the way until Final Exfil. And for my best game without the Scorcher, I got 27 Skulls playing all the way until Final Exfil. And as for my worst game outside of the crash, I got 14 Skulls for the whole game. But when the storm started moving in, I went to the Dark Aether to see if I could grind some Skulls there and unfortunately, none drop. I only tried the normal rift, so I don't know if this will work in the bad signal or elder sigil portals, but I don't think it'll change anything. Overall, this is probably the slowest method for grinding it out, but it was kind of fun speedrunning mimic murder. Finally, let's get into the horde point method. This mode is almost, if not as fast as our resurgence method, but in my experience, every game was a dogfight, and there's some fucking vultures in these lobbies. A good amount of people will be going for these mimics and trying to snag their drops from you, and sometimes I've killed 
world mimics and it didn't even drop anything. But for the most part in this mode, try to stay near where the hard point is at because usually zombie spawns will be close by. While playing, I tried out a few different weapons to see what could kill the mimic faster and I ended up really liking this Lockwood 680 build. I also brought in decoys to distract the zombies and keep them away from me while I'm fighting the mimics and thermites to put a little extra damage on the mimic. I played six games and on average, I got around six skulls per game with each game taking around six and a half minutes. This might not sound too great, but getting close to a skull per minute in these short matches isn't bad. In my best game, I got nine skulls in six minutes, and in my worst game, I got four skulls in eight minutes. Now, I like Horror Point as a mode, but playing it specifically for the mimics was a bit frustrating, especially on some of the larger maps. And it can really feel like the grind is out of your control in this mode. I've seen people say that whatever the team collects in terms of bones and skulls goes to everyone on it, but it didn't seem like I was getting more than what I picked up myself. And I didn't personally try this out, but I've seen people suggest using the Tomfa or any fast melee weapon to take the mimics out at close range so you have a better chance of getting the drop when you kill them. So overall, this mode is pretty consistent, but it requires a lot more effort than the resurgence method. And in case you're curious, here's my stat breakdown from each mode in each game I played with within it. And if you go with this resurgence method, you should be able to collect all 200 mimic skulls for the event in a little over two hours. And if I missed something or if you got any other strats, go ahead and leave them in a comment down below. But that's all I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, dislike, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.